The beauty of OData can only work if you can access your OData services. Most of the time, it is behind a firewall. Luckily, Power Platform can still access it. Hello and welcome to this new playlist on SAP and Power Platform here on the SAP on Azure YouTube channel. Up until now, we expected the SAP system to expose the OData services to the internet. With almost all of the customers I have interacted with, this was never the case. The SAP system is always behind a firewall. So how do we bridge this wall? The two most common options that I can see with, is, uh, with customers is the on-premises data gateway and the SAP Cloud Connector. Let's start with the on-prem data gateway. We have used this already with SAP ERP connectors for connecting to BAPIs and RFCs, but we can also use this for our data. We don't even need the SAP.NET connector for this. So let's take a look. Okay, so the starting point now is my SAP system. In this case, it's the SAP GUI from within my intranet. I can easily um, access the SAP system. I can, for example, access here um, the business partners and I can just take a look at, at some of the business partners that are available in this system. Again, everything's working perfectly fine, but I'm within the intranet. So what I can also do is I can easily call um, the related OData service. So if I want to just open up the um, API for the business partners, then everything's working fine. But again, this is because I am in the intranet. This is a system that is only accessible from within the firewalls, behind the firewalls. If I would call this from outside, then I would get an error message. So Power Platform, as of now, would not be able to connect to the service. So what I've done is I've created um, or I've installed the on-premises data gateway on my um, on my local computer, actually. So very much like the SAP GUI or this browser now has access to the SAP system. Also, the on-premises data gateway has access. I installed the on-premises data gateway in my case here in West Europe because my um, Power Platform environment is actually also um, located um, in, in, in Europe. So, so they're close together, which means they, they can easily um, work together. Now, if I go to Power Automate, if I take a look at the gateways, I can also see that my on-premises data gateway is registered. Um, it is online and, and everything um, should be fine. So with this, I can follow the exact same steps um, that we did before. I can just create a new Power Automate flow. And as before, I'll search for um, our SAP OData service. Now, my specific case, I just want to do um, actually a query because we just want to return all the business partners in our SAP system. And um, as before, um, the first thing before I can actually enter my um, OData entity, I need to um, create a connection to my SAP system. So I'll add a new one. Um, I will provide here a name for this. This is my um, local SAP system, let's call it like this. We'll use basic authentication. The base URI is actually this one here. So um, it points to my local SAP system. We have a username and a password. And now, since again, this URL is not accessible directly via Power Automate, I need to specify um, this on-premises data gateway. And that's all there is. Now, if I click on Create, the connection is established. And if I um, browse now for all the available entities, then I can already see there is my um, a um, business partner um, entity name. So exactly the one that I, well, actually that is here, that I wanted to use um, from here. So it returns a long list of business partners in my SAP system. So maybe what we can do, we can just um, ask for the top five business partners. And that's obviously the very same thing that I can also do um, in here. So I can just say, I only want the first, let's do the first 10 um, business partners and that's it. So now I can save it and we can just run this flow. And now we are connecting from Power Automate to our um, SAP system 
we are fetching the relevant information and um, you can see down here that we actually got um, all the business partners back including let's take a, um, a quick check in here so we have the business partner 67 let's see if we can also find this one in the list here so for example here's our 67 and that's um, exactly this Copenhagen municipal and if I go back here that's exactly this one good so with this <clears throat> we've seen how easy it is to actually leverage the um, SAP O data connector using the on-premises data gateway to connect to an SAP system behind a firewall in, in our case, we just used the query operation, but obviously the very same thing would also work um, with the read operation or with also update and create operations. Thank you very much for watching.